What's good with my people? You, you know what it is. It's Troy, Killertainment King, AKA Hamza, AKA Garlic Butter, Gangster with Gratitude. And when you outside, you gotta keep your head on the swivel, you feel me? I'm on my way to the crib. Just got done getting. I just got done getting, uh, what did I do? I did step ups and walking lunges. Super set of that for 12 minutes. Then I did three pull ups, six dips, and nine squats. I did that for 15 minutes. Then I shadow box for 20 minutes straight with some egg weights, two pounds each. You feel me? Trying to stay in shape in the quarantine. So this weekend we got Charlo. The Charlos against Rosario. We got the uh, against Rosario and Derek Vincenco. What else we got? We got some good work this weekend on the pay-per-view. I'm going to have to order him. If my brother sent my TV, I can be watching it in the stew. On 4K, but he taking all day to send my TV, dog. I don't know what he doing. I need my TV so I can get my work done. Let me run across the street. Uh, 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 uh. We out here. People, you know what people in Oakland can't do? They can't keep their eyes on their own paper. Women and men. Like where I'm from, staring to get you slapped. Or somebody would be trying to blow down on you. Like, what is your eyes doing? If you gonna look, you gotta say hi, say something. Cause I don't know if it's beef, I don't, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I'd have did something to your peoples back in the day and you might know me and I don't know you. So, hey, for all y'all who just be staring and looking, make sure you say what's up, nod the head, do something. Don't just be staring, dog. That's how you get slapped out here. For real. Just staring and mugging. Like, what is you doing? But yeah, man, who y'all think? Uh, I know everybody probably going with the Charlos, but I want to see technically why you going with the Charlos. Technically. What's what's your technical reasons to pick Charlo, the Charlos over Dare Vianchenko or over Rosario? I feel like Dare Vianchenko got more skill. The Ukrainian, he called the technician. Um, and then I feel like Rosario be hitting hard. So let's see what we got here this weekend. The Charlos are some good undercards. I wonder what time they fighting. Anybody know what time they fighting? Leave a link in the, in, in the comments. Well, who else we got fighting? I don't even remember. Can't even think, I'm so gassed. Once again, if you wanna get a good workout in, dog. You gotta do, what I did was, you always start with the leg workouts first. The reason why you activate your sciatic nerve, that builds testosterone, that starts the testosterone to kicking in gear. You gotta look both ways before you cross the street. Secondly, after you start that, that testosterone starts to kick in. You work them legs first and then you go to the uh, upper body next. All bodybuilders know that. So, you know how I man, y'all can uh, try to debate all you want, but we all know. And a lot of y'all be skipping leg day, so you know what it is. I don't ever skip leg day. Every day is leg day. Um, I hope the Charlos, Dervy and Chinko, and Rosario been on their leg days because at this level, somebody can get hurt. It could be a highlight or it could be a low light and it could be a good fight. So let me just see. Gotta have your ISO up on that low light. <laughs> For real. So what we got here? Another six foot with a death wish or we getting real work. I seen the face off Rosario is kind of big, Paul. Like he ain't small at 54. So I feel like cousin ain't gonna have to really work because uh, Jamel and they eye to eye. So 
you gonna really have to know how to box, stay up off of him until he slow down and then capitalize, you know what I mean? When his power slow down, go to the body with the jab early, things like that. Uh, Derek Vianchenko, man, it's gonna be kinda, it's gonna be kinda hard because even though he's short, I know tall fighters like, hate fighting sh short fighters for real sometimes because they get up under you. Had the little burps, they get up under you. So when they're getting up under you, you won't be wanting to punch down because they can come up with shots, crack you upside your head, make you wake up and take out that trash for real. So this is a nice little clean Tacoma right here. But we back, we almost to the crib. I gotta walk up this vicious hill. So we out here. Well, Derek Vianchenko, man, he got some skill. So it's gonna be difficult because he could switch up different jabs. He know how to roll up under shots. He bend his knees. He stay up on top of you. And then after fighting Triple G, I feel like he didn't felt like I'm not gonna say the best, but he didn't felt you know one of the hardest punchers in boxing. So once you done felt one of the hardest punchers in boxing, fighting somebody who doesn't really punch as hard as Triple G is really not gonna be a telltale, but. The thing is with that though, it's different speed levels, athleticism, you know what I mean? So, but the technician athletic too, you know what I mean? So it's up to us to see, I wanna see. Let me know if y'all gonna order the fight. Let me know what's going on. I'm ordering it, I'm watching it. We're gonna be, we might go live, you never know. But I will tell you this, don't hate, show love, comment, subscribe and make sure you eat right you got to eat right if you don't eat right i'm gonna smoke you one yourself